Hey, this is Luchador Tony with Resale Brothers. Do you hear that? I think I hear something coming. Gonna get my cape ready. All right. <laughs> Sorry about him, uh, the bull, but uh, we're back for another video. I'm back. Sorry, I was sick a little bit ago, but I'm back. We're going to do a little bit of a thrift haul here about stuff we got. Um, and then we're going to do a thrift haul, uh, not thrift haul, and what sold in the middle of stuff that sold last week and how much we sold. And so, uh, surprise, it was stuff. Thir over $13,000 in sales last week, um, $13,400, somewhere around that. Uh, most of it was on eBay. Poshmark was a little slow. Macari was a little slow, but uh, still a decent weight. It's always mostly on eBay. I know, but even slower than normal. It was like a little bit, a little bit slower. I'd say thirty percent slower than normal. On where? On Poshmark. Oh, so eBay was up thirty percent. Yeah. Anyway, first first thing, Tony's got it. This is a champion. One four zip Boston University sweatshirt. We have a Vineyard Vines on the go San Katy quarter zip pullover. It is new without tags. This thing probably forty five bucks. This is an outdoor research. We talked about outdoor research uh, with a pair of pants that sold for like eighty bucks. This is a new with tags uh, insect shield, so it's supposed to help repel uh, repel insects. Uh, yeah, new with tags outdoor research. And you have to be careful using the uh, insect repellent in the title or even in the description because you could get flagged for selling uh, insecticides or pesticides chemicals. or chemicals. Yeah. So you got to be careful with that. Uh, this is a new without tags North Face full zip jacket. It's a men's jacket. I think it's a size men's extra large. Nope, men's large. So new without tags, probably 30 bucks for that. Jay McLaughlin blazer. This is a, I hope, a woman's blazer. Yes. Probably could wear it. Christian calls it McLaughlin. 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 Uh, this is a North Face. Um, it's like a high pile fleece kind of really soft uh, men's hoodie in like a olive green color. What's that? It's in an olive green color. It's new without tags, probably 35 bucks. Lee, Lee, Lee. There's a theme to this, to this thrift haul, and we want to see if you guys can figure out what it is. But uh, this is a Vineyard Vines, new with tags, on the go, polo. Vineyard Vines on the go is always good. This is a kid, so it's not as great. We don't normally pick up kids. I think Christian picked it up on accident. But, uh, yeah, um, this is a uh, Murray, classic pick Murray shirt, Vineyard Vines as well. It's 100% linen, and it's got this cool tropical print to it. Probably 40 bucks. It's new without tag. It's loud. All right, you can't hear it, but it's raining really hard. And this is a metal building. Another, uh, you probably don't even have to talk loud. Vineyard Vines, uh, but now it's really throwing me off. <laughs> it sounds like we're being attacked. Yeah. Vineyard there was a tornado in our area a while back, like a week ago. Um, Vineyard, this is kind of like a uh, Hawaiian style shirt again. Uh, outdoorsy, kind of got watermelon banana on it. Um, it is a 2XB, and this is, I think, Tony loves bananas. New without tags. This is a Bonobus uh, men's uh, kind of like a Henley type deal. It's also knit. Uh, I don't know what it's, let's see what it's made out of. It doesn't feel like it's made out of anything crazy, but let's see. You never know. Uh, made out of 100. Oh, it's 100% merino wool. Okie dokie. Well, I stand corrected. This thing's probably, what do you think, 35? 35 bucks. At least I would say on that. It's like like new condition, really good shape. Two million. At least two million. Oh no. We've recorded this video once, by the way, and uh funny story, I forgot to plug in the little wire to the camera, so none of it was recorded as far as the audio. So it was like we were minds. We're just talking, but there was no audio. Those are Patagonia board shorts. Uh yeah. A lot of info. How much they go for? Two million. Another two, another two million dollars. This is a Vineyard Vines on the go performance new with tags, uh, button down shirt. Uh, the MSRP is one hundred and eighteen dollars. Uh, really expensive shirt. 
should probably sell for around forty-five dollars at least. This is uh, this deli. This is an uh, outdoor kind of a biker cycling shirt jersey, and it is just killing him not to say something right now. I can feel it. This voice. Um, it's fleece lined. Yeah. Wind stopper. Wind stopper. It's got a wind stopper. Got a wind stopper, folks. Which means the wind won't penetrate the side. Yeah, it is. But kind of weird because we're not in the right weather for this, but it'll still sell. Thirty nine ninety nine is the last sold comp on that. If you couldn't tell, I bought a million. <laughs> uh, this is a foot joy dry joy, just a good bread and butter. Maybe thirty bucks for that. This is a Nike, and it's a uh, snowboarding jacket, kind of a vintage. Uh, should be pretty good. A million and a half. Maybe 40, 45. I don't know. These are a pair of RLX, uh, Ralph Lauren RLX men's golf shorts. I'll do this one. He'll do that one. It is called, okay. This is a, I this is a, before he goes, this is a uh, Loren Ralph Lauren uh, men's linen blazer. Linen coming at this time of season. Loren Ralph Loren always does pretty good for us. Uh, linen being a better material, probably probably mid forties, maybe a little more. You give a prize without a prompt? Two million. <laughs> <laughs> this is called a hive and colony. Now I'll throw that up on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, zero comps whatsoever on this brand. It's a really, it feels really nice, really cool style, really good material that it's made out of. Feel just feels expensive. Um, like I said, I couldn't find any comps on it, but I wanted to kind of roll the dice. It's a full suit, so tag on it. It's a two-piece suit. Oh well. Uh, as you can see, we only paid ten bucks for it, so not very expensive. Um, actually, the MSRP on them is actually eight dollars. We paid eight dollars anyway. High MSRP, over sixteen hundred dollars new. So I figured, why not give it a shot? Uh, the last time I bought something like this that had a really high MSRP, it sold for quite a bit of money relatively quickly. So we're gonna give that a shot. I might even list it for like a hundred bucks because it feels like it's new without tags. So we'll try it, let you know how it goes. Hive and Colony. Columbia, Michigan Wolverines. Oh, they are our favorite team. Our daddy played baseball at Michigan. Why did you say and, that? And uh, he's since... I've got quote. He's crowned. He has passed away. Um, but yeah. Columbia, go blue. <laughs> hey, this is a Vineyard Vines. I believe it's in all. This is just a Vineyard Vines performance. Um, it's kind of like a cool, really flamboyant looking color. Um, but neon pink. Yeah, neon pink. Kind of like Barbie. Barbie core. Is that what it's called? Great. This is a great Ken shirt. It's new at tags. 40 bucks. Hey, Max, are you scared of the thunder, buddy? Our dog is scared of the thunder. Um, he's coming here to hide. This is Vineyard Vines' performance. Are you sensing the theme? You're not supposed to tell him. Just ask him. This is a, a J. Crew women's 100% linen blazer. It got like this cool ruffly neck. Uh, I'd use the word ruffles in the title on this as well. Uh, probably 45 50 bucks on this. Uh, linen stuff is going to be selling like crazy here coming up. So... We're definitely picking up pretty much anything linen. Let's talk about Marino wool V-neck sweater. Kind of all season, but if you get it cheap, we're still picking it up. Untuck it's a nice bread and butter brand for us. Million two. This is a Patagonia, just a lightweight um, snap button pullover. Um, I, I would even maybe use the word jacket on the title for this, but it's also color block. A bunch of good keywords going for this. Uh, probably sell this for 45 bucks. It's in like new condition as well, so that always helps. Uh, Vineyard Vines Polo, it has the... Burr technology, which is supposed to help you cool, keep you cool. New with tags, probably, I don't know, if you say a million, I have to walk out. <laughs> probably like 50 million. Hey, welcome to the What's Hold. Um, Why are you doing <laughs> like that? Uh, for this week, we had 11,421 on the bay. And then uh, Pashi had 1240 and Makari had 760 for a total of $13,422.60 to the moon. From what day? From mid, mid. From the 26th to the 3rd. Seven days. We always do it uh, the last seven days. So 
Uh, quick, getting into what sold. This is the first one. These are Crocs. Uh, they are the Lisa Frank Crocs. We bought these a long time ago. Uh, my mom bought them, actually. She, Tony had a pair at home, and we said, wait, we could probably sell these. She said that these were going to be good, and they don't make them anymore, I don't think. So they sold for $122. We paid 50 I think. So not crazy, but we made money. Uh, I'll do the next one. This is a vintage L.L. Bean. Who else would do it? Flannel lined shacket. Um, L.L. Bean shackets are always really good. Um, they sell for a decent money, and they always sell pretty quickly. They sell for a decent money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is, this is also made in USA. Um, my dog just heard thunder, and now he's scared. Um, where's he at? Can you get him on camera? There's his, no, there's his face. He's scared. Um, so, yeah, L.L. Bean jackets are always good. This one sold for, I think, like almost 60 bucks, 50 okay, something. buddy. You know how much it sold for? Uh, it was seven. I think it was seventy. Oh, 70, 65, 70. 65, 70 bucks. These are. Uh, I have no idea what these are. PRPS jeans. They. Uh, we got a seventy dollar offer for these. We had them for a while. Um, I looked up the how much they were selling for. We had them priced way too high. So, uh, yeah. The, They're new attacks. Yeah. The. Uh, $70 offer was a little low, but it was good enough to take. We had it for since last July, so took the offer. Cool picture of a baby with a crutch. Uh, not sure what happened to this baby, but... <laughs> Man, you're okay, bro. Uh, next, we have a Patagonia Goose Down Puffer Vest. Um, obviously, this is going to be good. It's Patagonia. Patagonia is, al Patagonia is always good, and it is Goose Down as well, which is going to just add value. Um, I think this sold for somewhere north of sixty dollars. We were asking uh, seventy nine eighty, but it sold relatively quickly for that price. So that was a one of our good sales last week. Saint John evening blue wool cardigan. Yeah, this sold for the seventy, I believe. Yeah, and this was actually I didn't even. As you can see, uh, sometimes we forget to do things. This button in the middle right here uh, was not buttoned, which looks kind of bad, but. Uh, it's a wool and uh, viscose, viscous, viscose. How you say that? It's definitely not viscous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, this is just a St. John knit uh, cardigan jacket. Uh, got this at Goodwill for five dollars, um, and it sold really quickly for our full ask. You ever have that? You ever have that thing where you're FaceTiming and all you do is look at the camera of yourself? I feel like that's what I do the entire time we make these videos. anyway patagonia better sweater fleece that's all uh, you had to say you, for, you had a breakout session for that this sold for like the mid 40s i believe 44 oh should i zoom in on it there you go that's what it looks like it's like the older style we actually got it returned once because somebody said this is older than i thought it was seven for all mankind uh this is the doja got that doja joe dojo sorry i don't know why what does dojo mean christian dojo like Karate. No, like what What about it makes it? How can you tell it's, it's dojo by just looking at the, the rack? How can I tell by looking at the rack? I look at the title, bro. No, like if you were to go to a thrift store, how would you know it was dojo? How would I know it's dojo? By the pockets. Because it's got sevens on the back. Yeah. Dojo's always got sevens you on the back. You didn't think I knew that, did you? The booty. You didn't until you scrolled past it 27 times. So if you see the sevens on the back, those are the dojo style and these, they sell for big money quick yeah, these were 55 i think we took that off before tommy bahama uh new with tags this is just a uh, button down shirt sold for i believe i think it was 61.75 so. it, it's not just a button down shirt it's a size uh 3xl well, yeah, but that's the size is a huge factor in tommy yeah, bahama the bigger the size the more money it brings if you get the really really big sizes um those things big bring, bring real big money I mean, I've seen comps of new tag mediums still selling for sixty. So. I'm just saying. I mean, it's uh, these are oboes. Oh, sorry. It's your turn, isn't it? No. Oh, it is my turn. You just hijacked my turn, like you do every, literally every single time. These are oboes. Great men's shoes. Great women's shoes. A high end hiking brand. These things sold really quickly for like fifty bucks. Oh, hey, Vinnie Vines. If you haven't figured out that we found a bunch of Vineyard Vines, these, uh, these, these, these Vineyard these, Vines performance. These, that's D-E-E-Z. 
These are good. <laughs> this sold for, I don't even know, what was it, 45? Maybe no, like 50, 50, something like that. Okay, 50. Next, Levi's 517. We actually had these in a haul video uh, where we had a ton of Levi jeans. Oh, did we do these Levi jeans? Maybe we didn't. We bought a ton of new without new with tags, actually. No, you took a short. Oh, I did a short. So I did a short. Just like him. <laughs> so um, we bought a ton of these new with tag Levi jeans. We got a good deal on them, 10 bucks for all of them. These sold pretty quickly for around, I think, $35 mark. Um, we only pay ten dollars for them, thirty-five dollars in a week. Um, we're gonna take that offer all day, every day, and get the money. We're for not them. in the storage business. Yeah, Loren, Ralph Loren. <laughs> yeah, I think we only sold these for like forty. They're wool cashmere blend, so that's obviously gonna add value. And they're new attacks. I'm not insult. The people can read. I'm not insulting their intelligence. Are you done? This is your item. I don't know why I'm talking I finished. about it. Okay. Because you literally do oh, it every time. Said. You do it every time. You Good. always talk when I'm going. This is a Faraday knit cardigan. It is a, a cashmere cotton blend, which is a uh, very desirable um, cashmere cotton blend. So desirable. They're really soft. They're very durable. You can wash them. I don't have to worry about destroying them. Like if it's 100% cashmere, a lot of times they'll break down. Why are you giving the... The washing instructions. <laughs> How much did it sell for? It's a what sold? It sold for fifty dollars. Goodness gracious! These are Viore shorts. They sold for forty five dollars. I mean, <laughs> if you want tags, if you want to wash them, jeez. If you want to sure? get the amount of life out of them that you will get out of these use shorts, low, use low heat. <laughs> Goodness. Use low heat when drying these. <laughs> this is a William Murray vest. Uh, it's reversible. Uh, William Murray, uh, a.k.a. Bill Murray, a.k.a. Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, he makes golf apparel and not a lot of it. But so when you find it, normally it's going to be pretty good. I think we took a uh, 50 uh, yeah, fifty something, maybe 48 offer for it. A uh, shout out to the customers that gave us negative feedback. Now we're not <laughs> yeah. Now we're not 100% positive, but we're darn near close. 99.8, but this lady... I asked if we, I forget what it was, but we had to cancel our order and she goes, that's fine. Just give me a refund. And then she leaves a bad feedback saying she never got the item. I'm like, we, we literally talked about how you weren't going to get it, how you got a refund. And then she said, I wasn't aware that I got the refund. And the <laughs> anyway, Tony was really mad about it. Made um, no sense. This is a Lacoste. Uh, Lacoste. Is that not how you say it? Anyway, this is a new with tags, just a cotton polo. Um, not the greatest, but it was new with tags, so it sold relatively quickly for around 40 bucks. Uh, this is a, actually, that wasn't very quickly. It didn't sell quickly? It took forever to sell for I around I mean, it wasn't, bucks. it was like a mid length. Like a normal. Mid length, sorry. I nylon didn't... jacket. This was a full sale, 47.50. Dry vent. Nylon. This is a Burberry, uh, just a regular Burberry um, button-down shirt. Burberry is a great brand to be on the lookout for. Uh, make sure it's authentic, but if it is, it will sell quickly for a decent amount of money. This sold for like fifty dollars. How do they make sure it's authentic? Um, if it looks like it's cheaply made, it's not Burberry, and if it looks like it's really well made, the stitching all lines up, the logo doesn't look like the lettering's off, then it's probably authentic. This is Loren Ralph Loren blazer. It is a uh, silk and wool blend. This picture's not even very good. No, though. it looks wrinkly as crap, but yeah. still sold for 40 bucks. You I know, mean. I took the pictures on this and I sold it lower than I thought I should because I didn't feel like getting the wrinkles. <laughs> so if you were actually get, to get these wrinkles out, maybe you could sell it for a little bit more, but um, didn't feel like it. A wee bit more. These we're still selling these things. We bought a ton of these five eleven tactical uh, padded shirts. Um, they are still selling for around forty dollars. Chubbies. That's all you gotta know. You get them chubbies. Chubbies. Guys love their chubbies. The these. Uh, this is a great brand. Great men's pants brand. Great yeah, men's. Guys love the chubbies. Great men's shorts brand. Um, they also have shirts. Shirts aren't quite as good as the pants and shorts, but. Uh, if you see the pants and shorts, pick them up. They sold for like 40 bucks. Low heat. Tommy Hilfiger, woman's blazer. 
monies. These were new. They also had uh, new with tags. So uh, we pick up all Tommy Hilfiger women's blazers if they're new with tags. If they're not new with tags, we normally don't pick them up. So Robert Graham, don't I'll pick up all the Robert Grahams anymore unless they're really cheap. But this one was a linen and it was big. So it sold for, I believe, $40. It took a while to sell too. It was in the 36000 yeah. Well, no, it got, so it got relisted, I believe, because it was, it got buried a long time ago and then got delisted and I found it. And yeah, so that's why it took a long time. Next is a Johnny O. Tennessee Volunteers uh, men's polo. This is just a regular cotton polo. The performance polos sell for a little bit more. Um, people aren't really buying cotton polos as much. Uh, now that they have the performance uh, polyester, stretchier material, people go for the cotton uh, way less. But it had the Tennessee on it, so we still picked it up, and it was new with tags. It sold for around $40. This is this uh, Eddie Bauer uh, 44T. Uh, so it was a tall, it was linen, and yeah, blazer still, uh, Eddie Bauer does well for us if it's the right material and the right sizes, so. Yeah, if it's a, ma a major mall brand and it's new at tags, like a lot of times people don't pick up Eddie oh, it Bauer. Was new. Yeah, yeah, it's new at tags and it's Eddie Bauer. Uh, it's a major mall brand. It's probably a couple hundred bucks new. Uh, we always pick that kind of stuff up and figure we can get at least $30 out of it. Oh, C.C. Filson. Okay, this is a, a C.C. Filson. Uh, it's just a regular plaid flannel uh, button-up shirt. Uh, it has pockets on it, which is good. Uh, a lot of times people like to have pockets on their flannels. I don't know why that's funny. But it's a size it's XXL. Uh, anything like, filsen. You're, you're describing it like it's a thrift haul. Like we just bought this, but we just sold it. Anyway, CC Filson sells. Filson! Is uh, Levi's 505, 30 bucks. One of them new ones we bought. Uh, these are Madewell jeans. Comps looked horrible on them. Um, got them for $10, so I figured might as well roll the dice. And every pair that I've listed so far has sold. So Madewell men's jeans and the uh, non-skinny jean uh, styles do sell pretty well. Women's golf pants by the brand Ralph Lauren RLX. Uh, 40 bucks. Uh, true Linkswear spikeless golf cleats. Or shoes, I should say. Um, Linkwear, Linkswear uh, is a pretty decent golf brand. Uh, the shoes are the best things that they sell. So if you see the shoes, pick them up. Uh, I would say uh, if they're in good condition only, though. Lululemon hat. Everybody loves Lulu. Uh, I think this was a. I think it might have been full price. Either I think that was. or thirty bucks, one of the two. I got a Lulu hat. Uh, this is an RLX women's uh, duck down vest. We actually had this in an earlier video. Uh, I think we did it as a thrift haul. And it's still sold this time of year. So um, the winter stuff will still sell if you sell it cheap enough. Um, this had a weird logo on the back. Not sure what that means. But it uh, sold pretty quickly for $38. Page, men's page jeans. And all those weird mall, like, mall Nordstrom brands, Page, Madewell, um, and there's another one I forget, but they're not as good woman wise, but men's stuff normally does better. So I think this was like 30 something, maybe. Next, a pair of Levi 550s, another from that batch of uh, pants we got new for $10 a pop, sold for $35. A little bean shoes, women's shoes. Uh, yeah, nothing really to say about these. Loafers. Uh, now, this is the last thing we have on this list. We sold a lot more on this, obviously, but. I just want to show you guys some of the highlights. These are uh, Travis Matthew. These, and by these, I mean this is a Travis Matthew, uh, just a pullover, uh, sold for around 38 bucks. And it sold, I'll see how old it is. So it took a little while to sell. Travis Matthew stuff doesn't fly off the shelves, but it does eventually always sell. So we're done, what do you got to say? Always wash your clothes on cold, low heat, Air dry if you can. All right, we're going to go back to the thrift haul video. Um, hopefully you guys like this. And if you have any questions or concerns, drop a comment and we'll answer them. Ask Christian for the launder. 50 bucks or something. This is a Walter Hagen polo. That is uh, normally not that great. Walter Hagen's very small. Don't make a lot of money on it. But uh, yeah.
American flag always adds a little bit of value, so probably low teens, maybe 20 bucks, if you're lucky. He's back. He's like, I think I said Beetlejuice too many times. Is it Nike? Like Beetlejuice. Can I talk? If you say the color red too many times, he shows up. I'm about to throw you into that pile of boxes. And this is a just a Nike, good bread and butter. Nice golf polo. Had cool stripes on the side. That's why we picked it up. Nike, Tiger Woods polo. Fun fact. Nike and Tiger Woods have separated and no longer companions. Let me take a moment of silence. So, uh, Tiger Woods stuff for Nike is now old. Good. Well, not as. I mean, like 20-something million. This 20-something. This is a cool, it's got like, a, it's a video advised for us on the go, obviously. Um, but it's got like this cool giant fish pattern on it. Um, we thought that made it kind of unique. Probably 40 bucks. This is a polo golf, polo raffler and polo golf. New without tags, little barb here. Tags also. Uh, yeah, pretty cool little jacket. Barb is my wife's grandmother's name. Barb was my nickname in high school. Barb? Why Barb? Why not? Oh, okay. Best at really pooping. All right, this is uh, Bonobos or Bonobos, as I like to say. A men's full suit. It, here's the pants. I like to throw the pants out of the way because they always fall. Um, this thing, if you can see, Bonobos. Uh, this is probably 80 bucks. Um, Bonobos is a great brand, especially their higher end stuff. It always seems to sell pretty well. This is a Vineyard Rice Performance Christian. Yesterday I thought this was camo, even though in fact they are just a golf course. It, uh, golf course, golf hole. Okay, tell me this is not uh, camo. So it, it is, is not camo. 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 And it is performance in your vines. New without tags. Boom. I believe it's camo. I stick by that. This is a cricket uh, men's golf polo. It's got this cool kind of... Uh... I was saying cricket. I don't know. What, what do you think that is? Those are... They look like belts. Um, it's got belts all over it. Yeah, they actually look like bottle openers. It's got bottle openers all over it, which makes it good. Uh, beer. 30 bucks, you think? Or no? 20. Seven. Whatever. 27. Uh, new. This is a majestic New York Yankees pullover thermal kind of thing. It is a like a bad. This is a Nike Pro stock. Combat neon and yellow neon colors are really good. We always buy Pro Combats when they're bright. This is it's kind of more vintagey. Vineyard Rides Performance got the Burr technology. Nope, nope, no Burr technology. Sorry. Oh, this one's new with tax. Twenty-seven thousand. This one's got. Pizzas and bananas all over it. It's another Vineyard Vines performance polo. Did you just say that's pizza and bananas? Looks like pizza and bananas. Those are not pizza. What is it then? If Mr. anything, it's like, I would say it's like pies. Pie? It looks like pie. All right, it's okay. 45. Vineyard Vines on the go. Blazers. Blazers on the go. I haven't really seen these ever before, but new tags, MSRP, three hundred ninety-five. So this like a stretchy kind of material. Lift them a lot, hundred bucks probably. REI long sleeve, just nice bread and butter, twenty bucks. In case you didn't realize, we did like them, so we bought another one. On the go, have you and, caught the fee? And you get a blazer, another, but then this one here. The MSRP on this is four ninety five. It's got these cool, nice gold, brassy looking buttons, um, looking real fancy, real flashy. I like you wear you that wear that brass, that brassy. Yeah, you wear this to a party. People are asking questions. They're asking where you got it. They're asking, "Wow, it looks so comfortable and stylish." Why where, is he wearing you, a where did you get this? And how can you afford it? Why is he wearing a blazer to this six year old's party? Yeah, I'm a who I'm is a birthday, this guy? I'm a birthday clown. Why? That's my side. Why is he here? Hundred bucks at least. And then he gets arrested. Another Vineyard Vines blazer, I think. Yep, performance. This is an Oakley, uh, kind of like a windbreaker, a newer style Oakley jacket. Um, I wouldn't use the word bomber, but it's kind of like a bomber jacket. You can't use the word bomber. That's why I said I wouldn't use it. It's a Vero. Don't use the word bomber. That's why I said I wouldn't use it. Take my advice, and you'll do well, I guess. It's a Vero. Anyway, 30 bucks. At least. 
On the go. Yeah, blazer. Up. It's the same blazers. How much four, did they go for? Four million ninety five. Four ninety five was that another machine. one of those pizza. Uh, video buying performance. It's we, not pizza. We actually got. I did. I added. I did some numbers. Added up all the vineyard buying stuff we got that was newly tagged. We got over four hundred items last week alone sourcing that were vineyard vines new tags we're showing you a very small amount of them like you just showed you three four blazers in a row we have like five more where that came from we have a hundred more polos where that came from a hundred more pairs of pants a lot of stuff that's a little exaggerated nah this is john's uh carhartt pearl snap uh kind of a oh what's this like a work shirt um what's that material kind of called canvas canvas yeah there it is this is just an L.L. Bean uh, lightweight jacket. Uh, lightweight jackets are going to be coming more into style. Well, they're actually already in style, but they're going to be come being bought more because the weather's going to be warming up, so we're trying to stock up on lightweight jackets. Probably 30 bucks for that. But Joy, quarter zip, uh, sweatshirt kind of thing. It's still a little chilly outside for some of the golfers, so they like quarter zips. And this uh, means it has to do with tag, so it's probably 40. <gasps> oh, um, this is another vineyard vibe. No, it's my turn. You were already. Uh, it's another Vineyard Vines blazer that has a cool whale uh, button thingy. Same same deal. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The moment you've all been waiting for. Nobody. Nobody. It's coming. Nobody's waiting for this. It's Ermini Gilder Zenia. Full pinstriped wool suit. This baby is very nice. It's a sack to Fifth Avenue. It's a sack. <laughs> yeah. It's, you ever it's heard a sack of a suit? Have you ever heard a leprechaun use an Italian accent? Because that's what. At least a hundred dollars for this. It's really nice. And then after that, another Vineyard Vines performance blazer. Vineyard Vines performance polo, forty bucks. Vineyard Vines performance polo, new attack, new attacks, whatever you just said. To the moon. This is a Vineyard Vines Burr. That's B R R R. That's three R's. Uh, this it's kind of a cooler style. I liked how the collar was a different color. Uh, tighter fit shirt, probably oh, yeah. thirty five bucks. It's new without tag. You know, Chris. You know, Christian loves those tight fit shirts. I used to, not anymore. Vineyard Vines performance breaker. No, no performance. Yes, performance breaker short. New with tags. Another one. Another one. Vineyard Vine. Just call this DJ Khaled. Another one. Vineyard Vine's on the go. Shorts. Same Another as one. Different colors. As you can see, that's four different colors. Another one. No, these are seer suckers. These are seer suckers. New with tag, though. So another one. These are um, these are the nine-inch breaker shorts. Now, these are a little bit different. They have whales all over them. Uh, this, this whale print all over is really popular. Um, with, you, they're all, with people who love whale. <laughs> With whale watchers and SeaWorld patrons. <laughs> uh, SeaWorld are... is bad. Don't go to SeaWorld. They're in captivity. Unless you want to sponsor us, SeaWorld. In which case, we, we love, love you. SeaWorld. We love SeaWorld. Sorry. They're the best. The greatest. SeaWorld. 35 bucks. Um, this is a Puma velour jacket. It is uh, right. also... I already... It's a, but it's got Ferrari on it. So anytime you see Puma with the Ferrari logo, um, it's gonna add. It's not gonna add a ton of value, but it's gonna make it sell quicker. We found a lot of times Puma stuff will just sit. We don't really pick it up. One more but if there's a Ferrari logo on it and it's in good condition. Mm. We normally pick it up if we can get it for like five bucks. In the face. I, I don't know if Tony knew that, so I figured I'd take over. We're gonna rip all of his little. Here's another pair of vineyard vines on the go. Who does he interrupts me? Um, as you can see, we got a ton of those. I think we might have got close to hundred pairs, uh, just sourcing in one week. This is a uh, Tommy Bahama. It is a uh, wool cashmere blend. Um, he tried. Wool cashmere blend uh, knit full zip jacket with padded shoulders. Probably sell that for 35 bucks. Hopefully you can listen to our conversation that me and my mic had. This is a Puma Velour jacket I about it. that has Ferrari on it. And Ferrari Puma stuff is always really good. <laughs> this is a pair of uh, women's wide leg high waisted corduroys. Uh, these babies are $168. That's the MSRP. 
They are new with tags. Great style. Corduroys are in right now. Uh, not necessarily corduroy season. Getting a little warmer outside, but still picking these babies up. Um, probably sell them for 50 bucks. This is a brand, M. Taylor. Uh, M. Taylor is a site that actually, like, you send in your measurements and stuff, and they make you a shirt um, based off your measurements. But I normally just measure them and then say whether they're medium, whatever. So not uh, crazy expensive. This is another pair of Vineyard Vines corduroy pants. Uh, these are new tags as well, but these are men's. Probably only get like 40 bucks for these, but kind of hard to pass on a new pair of Vineyard Vines corduroy pants. Same thing with these. These are the women's again. And they're not men's. Pink, corduroy. Barbie. Wide leg. Barbie's out, dude. Nobody likes Barbie anymore. How dare you? This is a an Adidas Cleveland Cavaliers uh, full zip jacket. Probably 30 bucks for that. This is a Under Armour. It is the uh, all season kind of like the hunting. hunting. Too slow. Too slow. That's what I said when I was. I said, um, if he interrupts me again, I'm going to hit him in the head and rip all of his ginger beer hairs <laughs> out. What the heck? I'm going to cut that out. I think I won't. This is a, a Fat Farm New Attack shirt. Fat. Pretty hot and Trey, 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 he's Trey. Uh, we picked this up because it was new with tags, nice big, um, kind of like a uh, urban style. Is that why? Because it's fat. That's why it's big. The big baggy stuff we always pick up. Um, seems to sell pretty well. This is Bird Dogs. Uh, Bird Dogs, good brand. They're lined. Make sure you always say they're lined. If they are, if they're not, don't say it. Boom. And this is uh. It's for your boomstick. Boom. Rusted. Uh, this is a pair of North Face hiking shorts. Um, we always pick up North Face nylon hiking shorts. They sell pretty consistently for us for around 25 bucks. New tags, uh, Stillwater golf pant on the go. Christian said Stillwater golf pant doesn't matter. Lay in the rain in the golf pant. Uh, this is an example of a mistake. This has a pretty nice size fold line in them. Uh, they are new with tags, but that's obviously a defect. Uh, probably sell these at cost, fifteen bucks. Um, not a great buy there. Who do you think bought it? I bought it, and my wife. Uh, oh, who do you think bought all of it? My wife was with me, and she didn't warn me, so I blame her. Hear that, Sammy? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is the Duluth Trading Flex Fire Hose Situation Shorts. Uh, these are a Huck, uh, just regular lightweight. Uh, I think they're nylon shorts. Probably 20 bucks for those. That's a fishing brand. Nice bread and butter brand. Better go to short. Nothing crazy. Two million and a half. These are the five pocket vineyard vines, uh, corduroy pants. Patagonia yeah. woman's shorts. Do it tags. Patagonia woman's shorts. These are new it tags. J. Crew Thompson suit separate. Uh, men's kind of like stretchy dress pants. Uh, these are new it. I already said they were new it tags. Uh, these are $200 MSRP. Not sure exactly how much to sell these for. Not a lot of comps. Probably list them for 50 Nike, new with tags, gym shorts. We got a bunch of those. Um, won't sell for a lot, but we figured they were pretty safe buy. Won't sell for a little. They'll sell for a little. <laughs> these are... Um, hold on, let's see. L.L. Bean lined shorts. Probably 20 bucks. Carhartt. New tags. They're the Rugged Flex Rigby shorts. Get your work on. Uh, these are Vineyard Vine breaker pants with hamburgers on them. The deconstructed hamburger. We did the whole thing last time, last video. Tony corrected me, but I stand by it's a hamburger. It's not. It, it's, Drop a com. Is it a hamburger or is it whatever this guy said? It's literally one of the dumbest things I've ever heard anybody say in my entire life. It's a hamburger. It's a okay, everybody it's a look. Deconstructed hamburger. You got your ketchup, you got your hamburger. Yeah, first of all, they're way more... You got your lemon. If you need a palate cleanser, <laughs> you're eating your hamburger. Way more things that go into a hamburger. You're... This is uh, their oysters like mollusks, hot sauce, and lemon. So, and it's vineyard vines. Well, that That's way more possible than a deconstructed hamburger. Tony um, doesn't know what he's talking about. It, it's a hamburger in my heart and in my mind. Uh, this is a Seven Diamonds... Uh, Brand we've sold a lot of shirts in, not a lot of shorts, so we're trying shorts. 
uh, kind of a four, that four-way stretch. Um, uh, what's the other tone? Four-way stretch. Keep Come back to me. Keep grabbing for it because I don't know what you're trying to say. It's, these are southern something. Southern Tide. Oh, God. <laughs> these are Southern Tide. Burr, sure. That's B-R-R-R -R -R for the second time. Uh, these are probably 25 bucks. Nice bread and butter brand. Southern Big Tide. Big Ludlow Slim Dress Pants. No, no, no. Talk about the talk about the material. They're a linen pant. Linen pant. Uh, those are really nice. Probably 45, 50 bucks. It's got a special type of material, but Tony didn't look at it. So um you said linen. Any type of linen J. Crew pant buy. Uh Nike golf shorts. Our pile is getting long. Large. No, uh, Vineyard Vines, Breaker Pants. New thing. Now this is something that we always buy. Um these are a plus size. Uh, well, do you call them men's stuff plus size? That sounds oh, that sounds like it's probably wrong. Extra big. Yeah, these are, let's see the size on them. They are a size 50B. That's 50 big. I think that's what the B stands for. Uh, these are Ralph Lauren cargo shorts. Ralph Lauren cargo shorts um, were a big seller for us last year. Uh, we always pick them up if we can find them for a decent price. This has the benefit of being really, really large. Um, probably sell these for 35 bucks for the size alone. On the go, five way pocket paint. Benny Vines. Uh, that's all we have here on this card. There's a bunch more on the other side. Uh, oh, we we always got more. Yeah, we have a bunch of North Face stuff over there. We have a bunch of other stuff. We have um, all birds pants. I want to say, oh, I meant to say bird dogs. Bird dogs pants, all bird shoes over there on the other, on the other side somewhere. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick. Ooh. Bah. No. Bah. Uh, this is just a quick thrift haul. Some of the stuff we picked up, some of the better stuff, some of the bread and butter stuff. I add value just by being here. Okay. We're, we're going to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to see another video. We do these every week if we can, so hopefully. Hit that button. And, and you know what? Thanks for making the video without me in it not do as good because it made me feel better. That I made a video on um, one of the driving forces. I made a video on VAs. If you guys are curious about VAs, how we have our VAs work, how you hire a VA, uh, go ahead and watch the VA video so Tony's ego goes down a couple notches. That's it. So.